What is happening, TLN Nation? Today on the Weekly Watch, it's just me. Colin will be back next week, but the first thing we have to talk about is the U.S. women's national team winning two gold medals this month. The women's team won the gold medal in the FIL World Championships earlier this month, and then this past weekend won the gold medal in the World Games, which is an Olympic-sanctioned event. This event happened in Poland. The U.S. women beat Canada 11-8 to take home the gold medal. And to be honest, I don't know that much about the World Games. I'm just learning about it now. But I linked an article from U.S. Lacrosse in the description if you want to learn more about the World Games. I think the good news is that this is an Olympic event and lacrosse was played. I'm excited to see what that means for the sport, both on the men's and women's side, in the future with the Olympics. The next thing we have to talk about is Romar Dennis and this ridiculous split dodge. Romar Dennis trying to get a step does to the middle, shoots. Scores! I got to see Romar play live in the July 4th game, and I got to say, I'm really excited to keep watching him in the MLL. So Denver took on Chesapeake in that game on Thursday, and Denver won in overtime. It was a crazy game, and things got chippy on both sides. Eric Law with the game winner in overtime, man down. Shot, score! With that win, Denver clinched their spot in the MLL playoffs. Another team that clinched a playoff spot is the Florida Launch. The launch went up big on Boston, and Boston came back. It came down to the wire, but McCardle to Mariano for the game winner, and the launch are in the playoffs. The Ohio Machine beat the Zards, but check out this face-off to a one-handed goal from Beast. The Rattlers beat the Blaze, and there were some awesome highlights from John Galloway. Shout out to the goalies who always tell us to show more goalie highlights. Check these out. If you want more scores and highlights from the MLL, follow MLL on Twitter and check out their YouTube channel. All the highlights from this past weekend are there. Who's winning the MLL ship this year? Is it Denver? Are the launch going to take it? Comment below, who do you think is winning the MLL championship? Colin and I will be there filming, vlogging, checking out the game. If you guys are gonna be at the MLL championship in Dallas, comment below also. We'd love to meet you. Our high school recruit spotlight this week is Tristan Wright, a Denver commit and a goalie who likes to run out of the cage. Dude has wheels. If you want to be the High School Recruit Spotlight or you have a friend who you think should be the High School Recruit Spotlight, send your recruit tape to info at the lacrossenetwork.com or DM it to TLN Nation. It's starting to get dark outside, so I'm going to head inside and check out some of the videos you guys sent us from TLN Nation this week. Let's go. The first thing I want to show you is my college helmet. Check this out. I went to UC Santa Cruz. We have the cruise script right here. We had Santa Cruz on the back, American flag, and my number, 24. Just thought that was pretty cool. Two videos I want to talk about from TLN Nation. The first one is from BP Newman 11. He filled up a stick with, it looks like M&Ms or Skittles, takes a shot, hits a corner, and then chugs the M&Ms or Skittles. That's pretty wild. The next video is from Skirt Strings. These guys are out at night. They have some sort of light in the cage. I just like this scene, like late at night, shooting session. When I was in college, we used to take some cars out to the field and turn on our headlights and have shooting sessions at night. So that just reminded me of that, and I thought that was really cool. The last thing I want to talk about is Play Lax Day. It's coming up in two weeks, August 15th. Make sure to mark your calendars, tell your friends, and get out and play on August 15th. We'll be giving out more information about Play Lax Day in the coming weeks, so stay tuned on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere that you watch TLA. That's it this week for the Weekly Watch. Next week, we're going to be in Brooklyn with Paul filming Forward Part 3. We will see you next week. Peace!